What is rheumatic heart disease? Rheumatic heart disease is a situation in which the heart valves are permanently damaged by rheumatic fever. Heart valve damage can begin soon after untreated or undertreated streptococcus, such as the sore throat or scarlet fever. The immune response causes an inflammatory condition in the body, which may lead to continuous valve damage. Rheumatic heart disease is prompted by rheumatic fever, an inflammatory condition that can affect many connective tissues, especially in the heart, joints, skin, or brain. Heart valves can become inflamed and scarred over time. This can cause the heart valve to contract or leak, making it harder for your heart to work normally. It may take years to develop and lead to heart failure. Rheumatic fever can happen at any age, but it usually occurs in children between 5 and 15 years old. It is rare in developed countries such as the United States. Untreated or undertreated streptococcus infection can increase your risk of developing rheumatic heart disease. Children with recurrent streptococcal infection are at a higher risk of developing rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease. The recent history of streptococcus infection or rheumatic fever is essential in diagnosing rheumatic heart disease. Symptoms of rheumatic fever vary and usually begin one to six weeks after a sore throat. In some cases, the infection may be so low that it cannot be recognized or it fades away while the person visits a doctor. These are the several typical symptoms of rheumatic fever. Fever, swelling, pain, painful joints, especially the knees and ankles, nodules, which are bumps under the skin, red, raised, network-like rash, usually on the thorax, back, or stomach, shortness of breath, discomfort in the chest, and uncontrolled movements of the arms and legs or facial muscles and weakness. Symptoms of rheumatic heart disease depend on the extent of valve damage and may include shortness of breath, especially when active or lying down, also chest pain and swelling. Some complications from rheumatic heart disease include heart failure. This can happen due to heart tightness or severe leakage. Bacterial endocarditis, an inflammation of the inner lining of the heart that can occur when rheumatic fever damages the heart valves. Complications of pregnancy and childbirth due to heart damage. Women with rheumatic heart disease should discuss their condition with their doctor before pregnancy and ruptured heart valve. This is an emergency medical condition that must be treated with surgery to replace or repair a heart valve. Rheumatic heart disease can be inhibited by preventing streptococcus infection or treating it with antibiotics when they occur. It is necessary to take medications as prescribed and complete them according to the instructions, even if you feel healthier after a few days. You will need constant monitoring with your healthcare professional to check your heart condition. Depending on the degree of the heart damage, you may have certain restrictions on activity. Your healthcare professional may recommend taking antibiotics for an extended period to prevent other rheumatic fever infections. Knowing that you have rheumatic heart disease can be frightening. It's normal to worry about the diagnosis, fear about the future, or not know what to do next. There are many sources to help you cope with rheumatic heart disease and reduce the risk of complications.